In this chapter, we will learn about cultural competency. After studying this chapter, the dental hygiene student should be able to describe how cultural values regarding healthcare can affect oral health habits, identify how culture influences people, describe cultural diversity in the United States, and define cultural competency and its significance in treating for a culturally diverse population. Culture is the beliefs, customs, and arts of a particular society or group. It is complex and multifaceted. Physical characteristics. However, race no longer reliably distinguishes a population since many races are mixed with populations from many different countries. For example, Groups such as the Irish and Germans living within a white population may display different characteristics. So while race describes your biological lineage or genetic makeup, ethnicity refers to cultural traits such as customs, language, etc., shared by a group of people. In other words, the ethnicity of a person is related more with his or her racial affinity, while the culture of a particular person is a shared set of beliefs, morals, and values. For example, Yasiel Pueg, a growing star in Major League Baseball, immigrated to the United States from Cuba. Ethnically, he's clearly Hispanic. He speaks Spanish and grew up with Cuban culture and traditions. But he is also Black. Like many people in the Caribbean region, his ancestors came from Africa. So Yasiel is a Black Cuban American of Hispanic ethnicity. Skotsky's theory suggested that an individual's social interaction as a child leads to continuous changes in thought and behavior that can vary greatly from culture to culture. He theorized that there are three ways for cultural tools to pass from one person to another through imitation, um, instructed learning involving remembering instructions, then self regulating, passing along cultural tools through collaborative learning. Experts agree that the first step in effectively dealing with diverse populations is for people to be aware of their own cultural habits and values. Historically, the population of the United States evolved from the immigration of people from a variety of countries. The U.S. is unique in that it is a country made up of a variety of cultures which has blended into the American culture. Immigrants who came in the 1850s and early 1900s came with Eurocentric beliefs. They saw the world in terms of European values and experiences. Some theorized that they strove to acculturate or assimilate. That means to adopt to another culture by assuming its practices and beliefs. Though some have argued that they rarely achieve complete assimilation because culture is inseparable part of being and is the foundation from which people form their values and beliefs. So many immigrants may choose to preserve their cultural heritage and belief systems, including dress, customs, language, and religious beliefs. Many people in the United States now embrace pluralism instead of assimilation with the preservation of their cultural values. Pluralism exists when numerous distinct ethnic, religious, or cultural groups are present and tolerated within a society. Including Native American Indians, Alaska Natives, and Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders, 
have cultures that differ from each other and from that of mainstream populations. In some regions, dental hygienists have many opportunities to serve this population. Alaska has a mid-level provider called the Alaskan Dental Health Aid Therapist, which began as a result of the need for dental care within rural, undeserved Alaska Native communities. The DHAT can perform simple extractions in addition to their dental hygiene services. Efficient communication with those from different cultures is important when delivering oral health services. Communication difficulties can cause barriers to health care. Additionally, poor communication between patients and health care providers is a leading cause of lawsuits. Some concepts to understand when studying cultural competency are practice management, stereotyping, transcultural communication, and cultural blind spot syndrome. Practice management is the means of overcoming challenges associated with a business or practice. Stereotyping is when you judge a group of people who are different from you based on your or others' opinions. Transcultural communication skills are the ability to interpret and transmit information to someone from a different culture. Cultural blind spot syndrome is the belief that because a patient or population looks and behaves much like the provider, there are no cultural differences or potential barriers to care. Remember, all individuals, regardless of race and ethnicity, have a variety of cultural influences and are uniquely developed. For example, a group of family siblings may all have different traits, ideas, and personalities. Practitioners have a major responsibility to be culturally sensitive in a society of increasingly interdependent cultures and people. Inability to recognize cultural differences related to healthcare can lead to treatment failure, frustrations, and patient attrition. Box 11.1 describes processes to develop cultural sensitivity. Assess one's own cultural beliefs and values. Recognize one's cultural influences affecting communication. Recognize one's own cultural biases. Be knowledgeable of the patient's belief system. Be sensitive to gestures, concerns, and questions. Be able to collect culturally relevant data concerning the population's health background and level of understanding of the presenting problems. Listen and observe. Be aware and respectful of cultural differences. Believe that one's own culture or traditions are better than those of other cultures. A provider who is ethnocentric tends to antagonize and alienate patients from other cultures. To avoid such cultural biases, which distort perceptions of others, other people's values and behavior and damage the ability to communicate, the person must first admit that ethnocentrism exists. of herbs and natural products referred to in medicine as complementary alternative medicine. Many people who use alternative therapies may not disclose it with the healthcare provider. Clinicians should always question their patients about the use of such products. Some supplemental herbs can be contraindicated with the use of Western medicines. For example, some populations use ginseng as a supplement which could be contraindicated for people with high blood pressure. Populations may be underrepresented in the health professions. Therefore, it is important that the healthcare providers are culturally sensitive. 
That is, aware that cultural differences and similar similarities between people exist without assigning them a value, positive or negative. Dental hygienists who serve in community programs and public health must consider cultural diversity as an important factor in every encounter with every person. The awareness and respect of individuals or a population of cultural differences, recognition of how these differences impact health and the ability to communicate effectively and work in cross-cultural settings. Cross-cultural dental hygiene is the effective integration of a patient's socio-ethno-cultural background into the dental hygiene process of care. The American Dental Hygiene Association recently revised National Dental Hygiene Research Agenda to emphasize the need for cultural competency in the field of dental hygiene. The ADHA encourages hygienists to expand their knowledge of diverse populations so they have the ability to communicate and work effectively in cross-cultural situations. Barriers to care exist in the United States, especially for diverse populations. A national report on oral health revealed that members of ethnic minority groups experience a disproportional amount of oral health problems. Describes health promotion disease prevention for diverse populations. Validate and test assessment instruments strategies. Mechanisms that increase health promotion and disease prevention among diverse populations. Investigate how diversity among populations impacts the promotion of oral health and preventive behaviors. Investigate the effectiveness of oral self-care behaviors that prevent or reduce oral diseases among all age, social, and cultural groups. Investigate how environmental factors for instance, culture, socioeconomic status, and education influence oral health behaviors. Figure 11-2 shows the percentages of race and ethnicity of dental hygienists in the U.S. population. Guidelines for delivering oral health care to diverse populations. To develop cultural awareness, recognize how your culture influences your values, behaviors, beliefs, and decision making. Become a lifelong learner of diverse cultures, particularly those whose populations you serve. Know about your population's cultural background. Assess your population's values, beliefs, and knowledge of oral and total health. Consider the effects of religious beliefs on oral and total health. Investigate cultural dietary practices and how they affect total health. To deliver culturally competent care, incorporate cultural practices into education and treatment when appropriate, but sensitively discourage harmful practices incorporate culturally competent communication into oral health, deliver dental hygiene services in a culturally sensitive manner and environment, develop relationships with health professionals from other ethnic and minority groups to promote a collaborative effort to improve a group's oral health. This concludes the presentation. For more reading, please read the article titled Delivering Culturally Competent Care. Thank you.